They are the best of the best, an elite within an elite. In a country where Olympic sportsmen and women are a source of enormous national pride, China's divers are at the very top. Six gold medals out of a possible eight in Athens in 2004, five in Sydney four years earlier. And this is their undisputed star, Guo Jingjing, the Athens Olympics double gold medalist and red-hot favourite for more gold in Beijing in 2008. CNN was given rare access to her in Beijing as she prepares for her fourth and final games. I was planning to retire after the Athens Games, but because Beijing won the 2008 Games, I really wanted to have one last try. It will be very exciting in front of my home, my home crowd, so the feeling for these Games is definitely different. Her day begins and ends here, this unremarkable dormitory in central Beijing, which is now home to most of China's top athletes. We weren't allowed inside. I usually get up at 6 a.m. and then start to do running and other morning muscle exercises by myself. Then I will be back for breakfast at 7 a.m. At 8.30 I'll be here at the pool to start my training exercises and head back for lunch and a nap at 11.30. Then it's back out here for training until 6, followed by dinner and then bed by 10 p.m. With still one year to go before the Games, she says she's training seven days a week. There's virtually no time for family or friends. It is a hard time, but it is our job. As I've chosen to be a diver, I have to keep that schedule, even though it is tough. In Athens in 2004, China finished second on the gold medal table with 32, just three fewer than the United States. Now, here in China, it's virtually expected that come next year, they'll top that medal tally. And that's putting a lot of pressure on people like Jing Jing. But this 25-year-old veteran is used to pressure. She's been training since she was just seven years old, when she was selected from a swimming class to be a potential diving champion. In some ways, her entire life so far has been leading up to the Beijing Games of 2008. In the new China, Guo Jingjing is already cashing in on her popularity. She's dabbled in modelling and has been endorsing products ranging from red earth beauty products to food to coke. Her actual earnings are a closely kept secret, but it's estimated to be several million dollars. But she only gets to keep half of that. By order of the state, which still controls most aspects of her life, she must share the other half with her coach, her colleagues in the diving team, a state sporting fund, even her home province of Herbei gets a slice. But for the moment, thoughts of money are only in the background. Her immediate aim is gold in Beijing, and the focus is on training. I hope I win another gold. It is my goal. Still, I have to work hard to get there. Andrew Stevens, CNN, Beijing.